What is up guys, Andy Forrest Zeman here, back with another video for you today. And today I wanna to be talking about how I prepare for a race, how I prepare in the week leading up to and the morning of the race. And it does include these things. This week I wanted to talk about this because I have been getting some questions in and around some of my race videos about little things that I'm doing and I just thought I would try and cover them in one video. However, of course, if I don't answer your questions, please do just feel free to leave a comment below. And of course, I want to hear about your race day preparations in the week leading up to. What are your superstitions and what do you do every time that ensures that you have a good race? So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so we're going to start off a week out from the race and we'll work our way down. So a week out, let's say Sunday, I'm looking at the following weekend's race going, right, is this a race that I want to be well rested for? Is this a race that I want to just chuck in the middle of a training plan or is this something I really want to give a go? So there are three sides to it. And there is a difference being well rested and get really giving a go. That depends on how long I decide to taper for. So if it's something that I really, really, really want to give a go, then I will be resting for a good week and a half to two weeks before. But if it's something I want to be rested for, but I'm not too worried about, then at that point, I've got a decision to make. And what we normally do and what I've been doing recently is, as a lot of you guys know, I obviously run Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, now Wednesday Thursday and then Saturday so first of all I would drop a session that week I would wouldn't run on the Wednesday and what I would normally do is I would normally have an easy run on a Monday and then a session Tuesday and a session Thursday well the session on the Thursday would be dropped and it would just become an easy run so therefore I haven't done anything too hard in my legs and the last session that I will have done will have been on the Tuesday uh, maybe the Wednesday but the Tuesday before the race so I'm giving myself four or five days to recover so that way I'm rested but I'm not kind of in fully optimal and rest mode shall we say where I might have tapered for longer but that's enough for me to know that I'm going to be able to go out on the weekend and give it a good go and if it's something that I'm just want to chuck in there then all I might do is continue to run my normal four days in the week but I might just depending on how I feel I might just run the Thursday easy so it's not a session um, or I might just do a session either way it depends so I'll either drop a run or I won't drop a run depending on how I want to approach the race. Okay, and from there, we dive into these things. So once we've made the decision about how we're gonna approach the race, we make a conscious effort to be using these things a little bit more. This is my foam roller, standard foam roller, nothing exciting about that, but this thing, this, this is the piece de resistance. Now, from my perspective, I'm really good at using these bits of kit during, um, sorry, after each running session that I do, week in, week out. It is the one thing that I am really drilled into um, looking after myself because I understand that if I want to sustain this type of effort, then I have to allow my body the best chance of recovery. Not only that, you know, you're going to be talking nutrition and sleep and blah, 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 but that's all for another video. This is about what I'm doing right now leading up on race week. Now, these things, on particular on race week, I tend not to use them too much after the easy runs um, normally. However, this week or race week, I will be using them a lot. Um, so regardless of how I'm feeling, these get used on my hamstrings, my quads and my calves. And then on my back, this thing, hamstrings, quads and calves, not on my back. That would absolutely kill my back. But this thing I also use in and around my diaphragm. So I just roll it very gently around my diaphragm, unloosen any knots, especially with my recent stitch issues that I have been having. I find that my diaphragm can get quite knotted up and this thing has been a bit of a godsend. And I also use it here on my pecs and I stretch out my shoulders because I tend to get quite knotted here as I'm running. Uh, I will, I'll be running with a relatively good posture, but as you can see, I do have a bit of kyphosis. And as I'm starting to run, so I lean over and hunch them on my shoulders, shoulders curl forward. That then tends to cause some knots in here. So this is great for rolling around in here, stretching your arm in the different places, loosening it all up. It is fantastic. So those things for me are a godsend on race week. Okay, and the final thing that I want to talk about leading up to race week, uh, or the weekend I should say, is although I did just talk about it then and say I'll save it for another video, because I don't want to go into too much of it now, I do make sure I get a lot of sleep and I do make sure I eat a lot better than I normally do. Now, uh, I don't tend to do what I eat uh, type of videos on this channel, mainly because 8 out of 10 of the meals that I have more uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner, they're good. Uh, but there are probably two out of 10 which are maybe not so good. And it's the stuff I snack on in between, which may be not, well, which isn't so good. Most of the time it's okay, but I am partial. I do have a sweet tooth and I do love a big bag of crisps. 
Now, race week comes, my mindset changes and I tend to be able to ditch that mentality uh, and kind of, I think to myself, I'll reward myself after Sunday or Saturday's race and have a bit of a binge then. So I am pretty good at dialing in my nutrition on race week. And the one thing I have started adapting as of last year is cutting out the fiber towards the end of the week uh, and into race week. Because obviously, as you know, fiber can really get the bowels going. If you have ever, uh, or if you have a high fibrous diet and you go out and run, or when I used to maybe eat a lot of fiber uh, and go out and <laughs> do a lot of racing or hard training runs, I used to have some issues with my stomach. So towards the end of the week, I really do kind of start to slowly cut that out, mainly on the Friday and the Saturday if I'm racing on Sunday, two days before. That's just something I picked up last year, heard it somewhere, and I thought, what a great idea. I do suffer with this. I'll try it. And it's worked wonders ever since I touch wood and I am touching wood, have not had uh, sort of any stomach issues in that region since. And the final thing I want to talk about is race morning and the night before the race. So the first thing I'll do the night before the race, when the kids go to bed, is get all my kit ready, get it all out, laid out, so I know it's all there, so that when I get up in the morning, I don't have to faff around waking everyone up uh, because I'm up at stupid o'clock in the morning and I've forgotten to pack X, Y, and Z. I will get my bag out, I will get all my kit out, I'll get my spare clothes, I'll get my food, I'll get everything I want to take out and laid out on my sofa and then packed up in a bag ready to go so that I know in the morning I can just come down and have my breakfast and just chill out. Uh, ultimately as well I will also lay my breakfast out and get that all ready so I know what I'm having so I don't forget. I have in the past been in such a rush or slept through an alarm that I get up and either eat the wrong thing because my head is in the wrong place or uh, I forget to eat something, whatever it might be. Uh, and uh, yeah, that that's never worked out well. So I always now lay it out. Now race morning in particular, and this is gonna be more sort of, uh, this is gonna be more to do with the longer distance races. I do now focus on getting calories in. It's working really well for me. So especially with this recent 20 miler that we've just had and half marathons, I'm working on eating a little bit earlier but getting more calories in. And some of those calories are now liquid calories. So I will make sure if I'm having a half, or if I'm running a half marathon, I will eat three hours before. Uh, I will make sure I've finished eating three hours before. So I start eating three and a quarter hours before the race. And I will always have a bowl of porridge and a banana. That is what I always have. I'm now having gluten-free porridge to really eliminate any gut issues. That has been, as I said, a godsend as well. That is, uh, has been life-changing in terms of racing. My stomach has not caused any issues. And again, I'm gonna to touch wood and hope that continues. But from there, I will also now have an electrolyte drink. Uh, the one I've been going to at the moment is the SIS. Uh, SIS Go electrolyte drink. There's a good amount of calories in it. It's got electrolytes in it as well. And it just tops up what I'm already having calorie wise with my porridge and my banana. So I feel uh, light in the stomach still. I don't feel like I've had anything extra heavy wise. However, I've got those extra calories in there. And I really do feel that's making a big impact on my racing, uh, my recent racing performances. So that is what I do of a morning. And the final thing I want to talk about today is the mental side of things. I haven't talked about it much because I don't do a lot of uh, mental preparation. I think from my perspective, the mental prep happens for me in the workouts. I've talked about the mental side of workouts. And for me, I don't really think to, I don't need to think too much about it in the race because I've gone through it in the training. I always approach a race and go, or especially now with a positive mindset and go, right, okay, you've done it in training, so go and do it in a race. I don't, I try not to overthink it. I try and think, well, if you can grind it out on the industrial estate uh, at 7.30 at night in the pouring rain, then there's no reason why you can't go and do it on a Sunday morning when you're properly fueled and hydrated. Um, so from the mental aspect, all I'm doing, if it's a new challenge like I'm on at the moment with the marathon, then I start to try and do a bit of visualization visualize myself running comfortably at that pace um, but apart from that there's not too much more I do all I uh, all I do on top of that is just make sure that uh, on race morning I'm sat there and I'm dialing into my stomach I know that sounds really weird but I'm trying to get a bit of a mind and stomach connection going and thinking does it feel okay because as I've said before I do have sometimes suffer with um, bad stomachs uh, and trap wind on race it's a horrible feeling and it really can cause some evil stitches so I do start to think on race morning, right, is everything settled? Is everything feeling okay? But other than that, the only mental preparation I do in terms of um, 
in terms of what I'm leading up to a race is simply a bit of visualization. Other than that, I try not to overthink it. And I try not to think about it too much. The recent races I've rocked up to, I've just said to Lee and Corrida, so let's do it. Let's just do it. Let's just go out there, have fun, work hard and be uh, work comfortably hard, but enjoy it. That is the one thing that I really wanted to do and focus on in 2019. Last year I had some great races, but there was a lot of times I wasn't enjoying what I was doing. And this year it started off with a bang and I'm really enjoying it. And that that is the pure focus. Just go out there, visualize and and, and enjoy. So there we go, guys. That is a very brief and kind of overview of how I'm feeling and what I'm doing and how I'm recovering leading up to and on race morning of a race. I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, as I said before, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to drop them in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please do consider giving it a like, share it with your friends, and of course, do, uh, do subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. And I will see you next time. Until then.